my very first video was a car review and it got like 300 views at least as of the making of this video so today we're going to do another car review of this 2010 toyota 4runner limited we're going to start it up show the engine and go through the inside and outside One hundred fifty-four thousand five hundred ninety-seven miles. It has a, I think it's a four or a five speed automatic with manual gear selection and a backup camera, this really small backup camera in the mirror. It's got heated seats. The passenger side uh, does not work at the moment. There's a glove box and the radio. And now we can turn on the headlights as well as the hazards. And just show you around the outside. All four windows are automatic. Power side driver seat and power passenger seat. So not that long ago, I actually had a 2022 Forerunner as a rental car and the design hasn't changed a whole lot since the um since this one came out and now i guess i can show you the back seat so there's actually a lot of leg room back here pretty good headroom and you know, cup holders and like an armrest and that kind of stuff. You do get vents, but not much else. Um, I guess I'll go up front and I'll show you the roof, the power sunroof. For a car with this many miles on it, it's actually held up really well. Um, I guess I can show you the engine now. So this has a standard and only engine is a four liter V6. Uh, it just looks like an engine. <laughs> There's not much else to it, but, um, I guess now I can just show you what it sounds like from the outside. So coming back here, we have the trunk, which is big. You don't you don't get third row in this car. You did in later model years as an option. That's how you fold down this entire seat. And then to fold down like all the seats in one, you go here, you pull this, and then um, you pull this up like that. And then you pull this. 
Nope, you push this. And then that goes you would have to take the headrests out to do this. Well, I'm not gonna do that, but I'd imagine with all the seats folded down, you have a lot of space. This is a pretty big car. And yeah, that's the cargo area. Thanks for watching this review. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought of this car. And if you have any suggestions for future cars, you can also leave that in the comments too. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.